everybody. Humble George here. I'm going to make, I know, you ready for this? A short video today. All it's going to do is I uh, finally got the Vega to where I've got it where I'd like to share. So let us go quickly. There's the little guy right there. Now, here's the skins that are going with it. There's this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and that one. Now, see a little kid coming up to, to snuff? He's not quite right yet. Oh, this is strange. Well, let's... Let's do that. Let's go to gears. Tires. See what we got. 20 in the front, 18 in the back. Fuel, 121 gallons or liters. 10%. Arrow is 3 in the front, 2 in the back. But if you want to go fast down this road, 1 in the front, 1 in the back is all you're going to need. Alignment, <clears throat> 1 degree positive in the front and minus 0.4 degrees in the back. Brakes, actually I'd kind of like to see about 62% bias, 100%. Now see this red piece? It could go clean over to here, so we got about 300 more percent we can use if we need more brakes. Dampeners, bump 10, rebound 7, bump 8, rebound 4. Drivetrain. 95% uh, differential power. Now, I don't know, that doesn't sound right to me, but the differential coast here was 40. I think we'd be a lot better off to do 60. Trust me, I really do. Um, I'm not so, all right. When a wheel is uh, spinning under power, it loses grip. A lock differential will transmit more power onto the non-spinning wheel, thus adding traction, but also screw up the handling of the car. Okay, well, be that as it may. There's the suspensions. Now here's what we've got. <clears throat> the wheel rate, think a wheel rate, is the diameter of the springs on a spring sprung uh, suspension. Big coil springs. Think of the size of the diameter of those springs. Okay? Obviously the thicker the springs, the more resistance and they're not going to be springy. Little wimpy ass springs will be like spaghetti. Okay? So, so think of it that way. I wish this thing wasn't weaving and bobbing, but it is. We've got 70 millimeters in the front and 155 in the back. Now, come over here and take a look at what, how much space we have here. We've got some, but I think we could go a little better. So we have two choices. Do we want to spring it more and lose the suspension, or do we want to air shock it? In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the springs up to 171 and see where it puts us. Okay, I, I saw a little bit of an adjustment, but not much. Let's bring this up. Oh, that's moving real good. 188. 188. Okay, now we got a healthy amount of distance between the rubber and the edge. I like that. We got 48 newton meter, 48,000 newton meters of uh, anti-roll bar in the back. That's good and stiff. And we have 89,000 in the front. The front with the heavy engine is going to need even more than that. So I'm going to bring it up to. Uh, right. How about that? 11, 11. Well, three ones and three zeros, let's call it that. Now various, steer assist. You won't find this on many cars, but I'd like to put it on mine. 90% is plenty. Pit stop strategy, uh, what the hell, we're gonna go ahead and do one. Not that we're gonna do pit stops, but you never know, at least I'll have it set up for the car. Uh, let's just go 100 gallon, 100 whatever's compound experimental slicks. They come off the Red Bull Racer from URD. 
20 in the front, 18 in the back. I used to use 18 and 16 and that really worked good for a long time. Okay. Remember, one degree is very, very important. Very important. And uh, if you're going to be on a, a twisty road, which isn't advisable with a car sitting like this, but anyway, I would I would do maybe three to four percent in the front and maybe three in the back. Ten percent is adjustable in the cab. There we go. It matches what we just did. Now they're set up to be very high. Nine hundred and three is what theoretically you could do, and vagabond aligned is what we put. Whether it's spelled right or not, that's neither here nor there. At least I don't know. Always wait till that yellow goes away, because it's saving the progress. Now we come out of here. And I look around a little bit. Okay, we don't... This big bastard can sit over here for the time being. I'm not used to the 1080p. Let's see what we got. Grab this little guy. Boy, I can see like a champ though. Now see this mirror where I can't really see what the hell is going on? Oh fuck, I got the wrong car. I knew it looked different. Oh no, maybe not. Okay. Bring it down a little bit. Bring it in a little bit. Shit, I was way off. There's the car right there. That? No. Hang on. Is that the car? Fuck yeah, it is. That's weird. Okay, well, there's a good spot for it. If I want a little more window, I can skid it right there. Now, this one doesn't look too bad. But we're going to bring it down a little bit and a little bit bigger. Oh, I didn't even know I had that. That's fucking cool. Well, you're never going to be able to see shit out of it anyway with that there, but I didn't even know I had that. Let's try that again. Farther or closer? Oh, isn't that nice? Well, anyway, that's all part of that little app down here. BLM car. Okay, now the only reason we're going to need this thing... Where is the fucker? It's stuck? Oh, don't tell me the bastard's stuck. Wait a minute. Come here, you fucker. Oh, you bastard. It's stuck. Oh, you fucker. All right, well, quit fucking with it. Maybe it'll go away. There, you escaped it. All right, let's, uh... <laughs> here gently and we'll get to where the, the sun is shining on the front of the car or somewhere near there f5 our way out so you get a chance to see if the if the if the wheels are really happy yeah they are oh I can get rid of that thing now I'm not gonna be needing it well just bear with it okay Man, can I see good? That 4K has its place, but man, I'll tell you what, I can see like a champ. Actually, we could have probably used a little bit more clearance here, because we definitely don't want to come down and rip the shit out of the car. But the back is, this is what is very important. Make sure that you're not having the body of the car sit on top of the back wheels. Then you say, humble the car is a piece of shit. No, it ain't. You didn't set it up right. It's not a piece of shit. It's a good car. Now, let's see. I think the camber on the back wheels looks fine. I think it looks... Well, we might have it slightly turned. Oh, yeah. we Yeah, see, we can. Yeah, that's, that makes a difference right there. But it does look a little bit like it's over-cambered. 
but not terrible. You really don't want it setting at a fucking angle like this, and you don't want it setting at an angle like that. Closer to up and down, the car is going to handle a lot better. It just does, that's all. Look at a little wheel and shit going around. Now the belt ain't flapping around, but the wheel's going. Want to cook a hot dog? That shit'll do it, man. All right, well, that's all I wanted to show you. I just wanted to show you how this works. And, um... Ah, what the hell? Gotta have a little bit of a fun. See, what you don't want to have happen is, uh... Have it be undersprung. So basically, I wanted to make this short video so you can see how to set the car up and what you can expect of the car. So we're it's scooting. We should be able to get up to about 400. There we are, 403, 406, 48, 408 miles an hour. It still made the corner. Now this is Lasarth, um, and it's with no chicane, obviously. See, 200, 300 miles an hour is, is uh, no big deal for this. It's a cool little son of a bitch, though. Look at that. But if you overpedal it, you end up like I just did. I fucking love it. up a little higher okay that's the deal okay you ready for this shit we're ready for this shit okay get I don't even want to fuck with well we can use that if you want to get rid of that thing though okay you ready put this about where we are gonna want it I'm gonna go a hundred percent turbo right off the bat it's just to prove that you don't have to go ape shit it's that right foot you got it. That's what you're talking about. How fast it is. Alright. If it does that, give it a little bit of. Yes. Push the clutch in gently and slap the fucking accelerator one time. Or just, just, just blip it. It'll stop chattering. Here we go, ready? You have to be mindful though, because if you're going to do a hot lap, you can't go wiping it out on the corners, like I always do. you got to take it a little bit easy, because this car is not uh, a Maserati. And you can get it out of control. Pattern just jump gears. It's got way more than enough power. You don't have to go sequentially. See, but you do have to pay attention to when it's about ready to break loose.
Five, right, fourth. Walk it. Sixth. Walk it. see what time we had I know damn well it was better than seven seven minutes yeah fuck seven minutes 343 there we go well that's a hell of a lot better than seven and you know you could have pushed it harder than that we didn't have none of that stuff when I was a kid <laughs> I just fucking love it. I just do. I don't give a fuck. I love it. I'm not even apologizing. I'm an old bastard, and I, I'll tell you what. I had a 67 Impala SS with a 454 high-rise headers, cam, fucking turbo 400 automatic, um, but it didn't miss any gears. Um, I had a 69 El Camino SS. What else? First car I ever had was a 71 Gremlin with a little six-cylinder. But I had tires on it. I had it, dudes, I had that fucker jacked up with 50 series tires on the back. And I could smoke one of them if you took some of the, par <laughs> some of the pressure out. I could smoke one of the tires. But uh, so I didn't know what it's like. My buddy Billy Powers had a 440 Dodge Charger 1968. This fucking amazing car. Then he had a Firebird that was a, what was a 78 maybe? It was a white faded to red. He was a body man and a great mechanic. It had a 383 stroked 350 in it. And that car scared the shit out of me. I, I, I think when he took me for riding that bastard, luckily it was only running on seven cylinders. Fucking scared the shit out of me. Of course, he was good at that. But then uh, Billy Taylor, 302, uh, 1968 Camaro Z28. So I've known some people with some ass-kicking rides. My dad, 63 Corvette. Are you shit me? Fucking A. So when you tell me uh, what cars are like in America, you ain't telling me jack shit because I've been here. I know what they're like. I worked at a custom paint and body shop in Stockton, California that my brother owned, the Hand of Newness, and I saw some fucking amazing shit out there. You want to see cars? Go to California. I don't know. I guess Arizona is, is pretty fucking cool with that shit, too, but you want to shit your fucking britches, get your ass to California. Oh, yeah. 
Gremuloin asset. Oh, this thing is a bad son of a bitch. I don't mean bad. I mean, it's an excellent car. Missing parent. Okay. Your little orphan. I'll take you in. Now you're mine. Okay. Boom. That one's got the red stripe, white stripe, white, black, and black with a red stripe. But I don't have the yellow one. Don't worry about that. Take them to the showroom. Well, first of all, I got 8,087 horsepower in a gremlin. You say, humble, you're a knucklehead. I haven't, has anybody ever said that before? Take a look at the meats on this puppy. Holy shit. Are you, now, don't, I'm not lying to you. The 50 series tires I had, I had to have these fuck beams on the back with the springs, which is a real bad idea, trust me. Spend the extra money and have the springs resprung. Don't put fuck beams on the thing or you're in deep shit. Now, I don't even know. This is back before I ever began even thinking about retexturing. So I don't think this would really take to it. We could do the seat, you know, but I'm not doing anything right now. Nothing. Look at the ball. I wonder if just the ball. Could you do just the ball? No, it's interior lads. does everything. Okay, it wasn't made to be fucked with. But I'll tell you one thing it was made to do, and I'm going to show you. We're going drag racing. What? Humble. Fuck that. Come on. Drag race. You shit me. Nah, we're fucking going for a drag race. All right, Camaro, 71 Touring. That's that's my opponent. No fucking problem. Uh, well, you're cocky for a guy with a fucking gremlin. Check it out. Well, what the fuck's the problem? Drag, tag drag is missing. Oh, of course it is. We're not at the fucking drag strip. That'll slow you down every time. Now, isn't that nice it told me at least? How about this? 400 meter. That's a quarter of a mile. Now, we're happy, aren't we? 100% strength on the opponents. Check this shit out. Cabango. Humble, how do you stand a chance in a gremlin? Uh-oh. No, it's going to do it. Gremuloin. That's what I used to call it, my little fucking loincloth. <laughs> I used to chase women in that thing. I never caught any. I chased them. Here's this fucking thing. It's bad as fuck. All right, we got to set it up. Highest possible gears so we don't spin the tires too bad. 18 in the front, 16 in the back. Fuel. We need the weight. You're this little bastard. Let's go to 88 liters. Electronics. We'll start out with 10%, but probably need more. Arrow is good. Alignment. Oh, fuck. I can't tell. I don't know. Damp suspension, though. We're going to have to do something with this. Let's get some spring to this puppy. We got to jack this bitch up. Try to do it, you know, like you're doing... Uh, Tightening a, a drum head. You want to do a little here, do a little there. Bring that puppy up. I, I can't see shit, so I'm going by feel. 63. It's up there pretty good. Let's get the front up just a little bit. That way it won't beat the fuck out of itself when it comes down off a wheelie. Wheelie? your fucking ass. 29? Okay. Well, let's go back to alignment, because now I know I'm going to have to do it. Going to 1% camber positive. When you jack them up like this, you've got to do something where you've got fucking uh, weasel toes. Okay, let's try this. Gremuloin SS. What do you think? That's a mean shabby. You think we stand the fucking chance?
degrees. All right, we're going to uh, get rid of it. Well, first of all, we're doing fine. Let's go up to 100%. Get rid of this fucking thing. I don't need that other one either. Pull it out. Okay, we're ready. 100% turbo. <laughs> driving on my part. Okay, we're not gonna play that shit this time. It's first gear. Shift like a He won that one. No sweat. I fucking lost. I got such a fucking wheelie. <laughs> I got. A, I couldn't see where the fuck I was going. All right. Let's try not to do that. Fucking killer wheelie. Too big. pretty but I, I only lost I think once or twice all right check this shit out guys check this shit out let's see where we are gotta nip it along shitty looking sky ain't it let's see if we can fix that where are we? That don't look worth a fuck, does it? I don't think that helped us at all either. That ain't too bad. Got just regular. Oh, that's better. Shitty looking sky, though. All right, here we go. I hadn't done it in a long time. this shit you fucking gotta love it now i think this is where i got that sick fucking third gear giant fucking wheel stand but i'm not sure let's do that little fucker little 12 cylinder But I get that. Now that's a, do you think the other one was squirrely? This fucker is. This has got squirreled down to a fucking science. You really have to be careful with this. Watch this shit. This, this, you don't want to do this in real life. Carl never drive down the road straight again. Oh, no wonder. Let's do a little fucking uh, little 
little slow, slow matron and find out where the bear and the buckwheat shit their pants. Okay. I'm up in the fucking air, but watch what happens. I come down hard, and it bounces me up. Now I really hit it, and I come right off the fucking ground with the car. I mean, you can't get a bigger fucking wheelie than that. I mean, I'm airborne. I, I'm, I'm, I leaped right up in the fucking sky. But that, that's really fucking tough on not only the car, but your own self. Now I come up on this fucking asinine wheelie. I'm fucking airborne again. And bur that was, there I caught more rubber. And what the fuck? I mean, you're having a hard time driving right now. I mean, you're watching this shit as it's happening, man. I ain't bullshitting you, obviously. I mean, I came almost to the 200 meter mark on a fucking wheelie. And I'm still... I'm I, there. You go. Oh, of course, I'm in the wrong lane, which totally cornhole any chance of doing a good job. So that was that. I haven't run it in a long time. I have not run this car in a long time. So how did we do? Four wins out of five runs. Beth, we can. Can we try one more time? Yeah. What the fuck. You can't make a short video. I know you. Well, where you see the skins I'm going to put on that little bastard. I'm going to skin the piss out of that thing. Now let's get rid of this shitty looking bright clouds. Oh, that fucking sucked, didn't it? That absolutely sucked. Let's, let's enjoy ourselves. Okay. All right, come on. Uh, what about, let's get rid of him. What are you going to do? Put the Vega? <laughs> yeah, let's put the Vega. Oh, well, it should be a fucking treat. All right, you knew I was going to do it, didn't you? You fucking knew it. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Vega? Oh, you crazy fucker. Oh, that'd be me. Holy shit, the Vega? You knew I would do it. I knew I would. Did we save the fucking thing? I think we did. Yep. Oh, fuck. Ninety percent. <laughs> pretty at all. 100%. Get that fucking thing out of here. Go lay down, you cocksucker. Excuse me. Such a... I gotta fix that so it don't do it. It's so annoying. Must have fucked up because I didn't. That's all I could tell. I don't know what happened to him, but I know damn well I didn't fuck that one up. I actually I was having a halfway decent run. Fuck's that? Holy shit. I don't know, but I don't know. I this is gonna be fun to watch back because I, I think he's he's really doing me a, a hard time. <laughs> This should be interesting. I don't look like I'm doing too fucking good myself.
Let's get to the back of the, of the uh, camera pile. Oh, wrong, wrong back. Now that's what I want to see. All right, this should be good. Don't go to stop. Bye. Let me get the fucking thing so it looks halfway decent. If we're gonna have a video, let's uh, where the fuck's a little time deal? I want it to look. No, 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 not that. Where the fuck are you? No, that's the one. Let's get this little bastard adjusted. I want it to look nice. Okay, it's coming out that way. Beautiful. Nice. Now, see, that's what you do. You make it look nice. Nice. It's got to look nice. Now, we probably could get away with that other filter. Come here, Wanko. Fucking dark. Let's try that, just for the shits and giggles. I know it does look a little dark, but um, let's try it. Yeah, the AI did not know how to come off the line with that car. Not at all. He has no fucking clue how to drive that car. Listen to the thing. I love the sound of the gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> Hear that blow up? Oh my god, this is a fucking treat. done a video with this little guy in a while, but he's a mean little son of a bitch. Yeah, he never could, he, that son of a bitch never could drive the car. Never could drive the car. Isn't that a pisser? Well, Humber, you think you could do better? Um... I don't know. With the Vega? Oh my god, this is how the day is going to go by. It fucking is, ain't it? All right. I like that. Now let's let's uh get this guy tuned up. I don't want the random shit ass skin. I mean, it's cool, but it ain't that cool. Let's do this. Now it'll look like uh, it's supposed to. Ah, uh, that guy don't stand a fucking chance, old boy. No, fuck. You want to see why? Come over here to the gremlin. Come up here to data. Wait a minute. Come on, fuckstick. Grab it. Come down to engine. Okay. Cockpit adjustable one. Turbo adjustment one. If you want him to be able to come off the line, it's got to be a zero, or else the AI is never going to be able to do it. It's coming off with all the fucking turbos full bore, and he doesn't stand a chance. So that's why that was fucked up. <clears throat> now it should be a better race, because the guy will have some idea how to fucking behave. So it's Vega against Vega. Now this should be, this should be a real pisser, because I've got to be able to not overpower this car myself this thing gets brutal fucking wheelies as you saw 
Oh my god, this should be interesting. All right, you ready for this wombat slapper? Here we go. Get rid of that little squirrel. Go lay down, fuzzy fuzzy. What do we got? 100%? I better, no, no. 50 people. <laughs> That didn't last long. Yep, yeah, that didn't last too fucking long, did it? All right, all right. Now, now can we try this realistically? Get that off. Too, that was way too much. 10, 20 percent might be plenty. Red lighted it. Ah, fuck. All right, ten, ten percent. percent was plenty and you yeah you gotta come off just right okay I can do this I can do this now that I got the hang of it you gotta do it just right though or you can go over too big you can't too much gas strange son of a bitch that's gonna look good though that's gonna look real good on a fucking video oh my god that was fucked up how the hell i stayed together is up beyond me that's a fucking amazing right there that's gonna be something to see try not to do that again <laughs> You don't sequentially shift this fucking thing. I got news for you. No way. That was like third to fifth Bambo. El Bambo. Oh, this is a fucking riot. As I said, it's more fun than a man should have with his clothes on. Slow fucking times. Very slow. I've done fives before, but it ain't happening today. But this is going to be something to see. I'm glad, I, I'm glad we hung in there and did this. I really am. I'm glad we hung in here because this is going to be worth it. This really is. This is going to be fucking cool. Where is that bastard? Let's get the sun squared away. He's in the wrong spot. Come on, swing around here. Yeah, that's what you don't do. <laughs> well, fuck it. At that stage of the game, what are you going to do? All right, now check this shit the fuck out. This is going to be good. This is going to be good. Oh, I red lighted. That's right. That isn't going to be good.
someone, I think. If I'm not mistaken, this is where the bear and the buckwheat shit. Where the bear shits and the buckwheat, I should say. Buckwheat don't shit. Here we go. You gotta be fucking shitting me. Hang on a minute. Go back here and do that again, Squinkle Brain. I gotta see this shit in real life. Now, camera... F can we camera five the bit? Oh, look at that shit. That is fucking cool. That is fucking cool. That is fucking cool. That is fucking cool. Are we going forward here? I think we are. Have we got flames coming out of him too? No. Now look, we, we must have fouled a couple of plugs. Fouled plugs my fucking ass. Check this shit out. Look at that. Ah, you rotten fucker. Fucking bastard. Oh, let's go lay down. Look at that shit. Fucking airborne. All wheels are off the ground right there. Air fucking born. Come on, get up here. Don't fucking do this to me, fucking weird old camera. Oh, look at that fucking... Oh, shit, that looks weird. Nah, you fuck. Under the 100 meter mark, and I'm still fucking getting the killer fucking... No, no, you bastard. I'm still riding it. I rode it almost to the 200, almost half the way down the fucking track. Oh, I'm not done yet. Now we're burning rubber. Burning it like a son of a bitch. And the other guys, I don't know what the fuck happened to him. His car is all fucked up. Oh, it doesn't set itself up on purpose, apparently. No wonder he's all fucked up. That is what you don't want to do. Oh, my God. Come here. This fuck stick. Do it again. You don't get to see this kind of shit too many times in a lifetime. Ah, fuck. Actually, that red bar would have to be there. Hang on a minute. I, now, get, get out of here. Go lay down. I'd like to get a couple of nice, nice screen. I love the fucking screenshots. Ah, oh, you bastard. Too bad you can't see the light in the replay work. It, is it, it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Are we going to do something here, Wango? It is creeping, ain't it? Keep your eyes on these butterflies. Here we go. See them starting to open? They're fluttering a little bit. When those bastards open right, right up, you are in for a treat. Come on, man. What the fuck? There we go. That's the one I wanted. I think I got it, too. Here we go. Launch time. Look at that little bastard. This is fucking fun, man. I, they don't really have a proper deal for the uh, drag racing, and nobody's made a mod that's proper for it yet. We need to be able to go down the, the stretch turn around and come back so that we could do this online. You could have a fucking field day with about eight guys and a fucking cooler full of beer. I got news for you. You would have a fucking wonderful time drag racing. I mean, holy shit. I'm not kidding you. I mean, there ain't, any, there ain't too many things in America more fun than drag racing. Or anywhere, I guess. Look at that shit. Are you fucking kidding me? As uh, Uncle Ted would say. Now that is a fucking wheelie. You say what you want to say. That is a fucking wheelie. That ain't just no wimpy ass wheelie either. That's a fucking ass kicker. Now watch this. Here we go. 
uh, spring that fucker. I wish this camera would stop fucking me in the over the coals, but it is what it is. That is, as far as I'm concerned, that made the whole day. I wish I could get lower, you fuck. It just won't do it. Can you do it this way? Nope. It's locked, the bastard. The only way we could do it was this photo mode, and if you use that, son of a bitch, you have other problems. Now we're heading for the 400. Oh, oh what the fuck we got going on here? Oh, it's just, just the color of the wheel. I thought it was oscillating. Now, how fast are we going? Uh, where the fuck's the little thing? Right there. 186. We're, well, we'll do 190 or so. 96, 97, 90. 200 miles an hour. And we're just crossing the threshold right there. Just watch for it. You're in a good spot. When it backs off, the flames come shooting out there like, like a barbecue pit. See, we could use even more rays in the back. We are rubbing just a, just a little bit. And this is how you, you hone the uh, setup to where it's perfect, is by going back and, and absorbing what's, what's actually going on. And you can get a pretty good idea of what you need to do to set the car up properly. Now, see, I'm just starting to hit the brakes. And when I do, the front end comes down a great, you know, not terrible, but it's, it's, it's definitely doing it. These are shut right down. Look at the little wheel going like a bastard. It's just fucking awesome. In my book, okay, I think we've seen plenty. Look at that little son of a bitch. All right, all right. How did we, well, obviously, we did pretty decent. Four wins out of six, which ain't marvelous, but uh, best lap was a seven which sucks but um aside from that no big deal i wish i hadn't have done that oh it's still there good i gotta save these screens all right guys i hope you like this remember subscribe hit the like button leave a comment because i enjoy that shit okay it don't cost you nothing a little bit of time bye guys